A person needs a muscular system as well as a skeletal system in order to be able to move because all the bones that constitute the skeleton are attached to the muscles. As muscle contracts, it brings the bones together and permits them to move. Thus, the muscles and the bones allow us to make a great many movements by working together. They act together during every movement we make. What emerges here is an example of complete coordination. The muscular system that allows us to move recognizes the structures and functions of the bones. And the bones are all well acquainted with our muscles, as if they understand each other's language. For example, when we wish to sit down, the leg muscles contract as the joint bends. We thus sit and stand with no difficulty. So appropriately does the muscle surround the bone that all the necessary preconditions for the muscle to be able to contract are met beforehand. The muscle never slides off the bone and the bone never severs the muscle. Two tissues completely different to one another. The systems act in complete cooperation with one another. All these show that every tissue and every cell in the human body is shaped and directed by a superior power. It is the who creates our bones, causes them to work by surrounding them with muscle, and who thus permits us to walk. We created man from the purest kind of clay, then made him a drop in a secure receptacle, and formed the drop into a clot, and formed the clot into a lump, and formed the lump into bones, and clothed the bones in flesh, and then brought him into being as another creature. Blessed be Allah, the best of creators.